Hello everyone, welcome to Foreign Farming in the Philippines. The blue choke has come by. I haven't spoken with Tatai directly, so I don't know exactly if if uh, we've kind of got a plan figured out, but uh, what blue choke's going to do today is he's going to take down all the coconuts out of these trees, all of them. Uh, the ones that are ready to harvest and the ones that are not ready to harvest. He's going to take them all. And Tatai is trying to find someone uh, to buy all these coconut trees around the house. Because uh, Marcel and I are just tired of them. We don't make anywhere near enough on the off of these trees to offset the damage they do and the potential damage they could cause. Uh, the windshield and the dent on the top of the van would cost more to fix than all the money we've ever gotten off these coconut trees in three years. And they're dangerous. You can see what happens when these, just the palm fronds hit the ground. If one of those, even a palm frond, if it came loose up there and came down, uh, could do you some harm and the coconuts themselves uh, could kill you if they hit you in the head I mean look at that and since uh, your head is the most likely spot uh, where they'd hit you uh, it's just a it's dangerous to have these coconuts around for what they're worth Gina I thought he was gonna take all the coconuts Huh? So what about the new ones? Alright, so when they bring the trees down, then we'll just leave yeah. them on the... Okay. So Tatai's been trying to find someone to uh, cut down the trees. I, there was some, there was some uh, mention of, of price what they would pay, but I forget what it is. Do you remember what Tatai said they would? They're going to pay for board foot. Mm, I, can't, I, I can't remember. You can't remember? Yeah, I can't remember either. But they will pay a certain amount per board foot. Uh, now we do have these. Uh, the, we we put up. Uh, three street lights here basically you call them. there's three lights along the road here and they're held up by the coconut trees so uh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do something uh, to keep that string of lights up there uh, put up a couple poles I guess but let's see there's one two three four five six seven along this front road here and then there's one there one there that's eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and I've lost count seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen yeah so there's like between fifteen and twenty trees that we're going to take down and we're not going to take down all the trees uh, just the ones that are close around the house here. Look, if it... Yeah, the ones, are, the ones around the chicken pen and down in there, yeah, we can keep those. This is more of a... This is a... This is a safety remedy. Uh, more than it is a, a revenue generator. We're not going to get a lot for these trees, but... I'm going to get a lot of peace of mind that there's not, uh, I mean, uh, you know, I can, <laughs> that one came all the way over here. I can, I can feel the concussion when those coconuts hit the ground. They weigh, come here, Nini. They weigh five pounds, maybe. And they're coming from a height of 30 feet plus. 
So they're hauling when they hit the ground. And it's a lot of kinetic energy to be released on the top of your head. And if something, you know, let alone me or Marcel, which would be uh, tragic enough, you know, any of the adults here, of course, it would not be, it would not be great if a coconut hit any of us in the head. But if something, if, if one hit Red Red or Charlie, oh, my God, I, I don't know, I don't know how we'd deal with it. It's just way more of a... Yeah, that's a big one. Can you pick that up, Red? Or is it too heavy? Uh, go, go put it over there. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Well, gravity. So, we're going to get all these trees taken, got, taken down that are close around the house here. Yes, ma'am. My delivery? How much? 1075 I don't even know what what this is. That's yours, I'll be safe. It's mine? Yeah. Well of course she's gonna say it's mine if it has to be a, if it's a thousand and seventy five pesos. Uh-huh. That looks like the relish right there. I ordered some relish, some mayonnaise, some ketchup. Because uh, you just can't. Uh, how much is it? A thousand seventy-five. Yes. All right, we just keep that for This just is keep. mayonnaise or ketchup. Mayonnaise. That's yeah, mayonnaise. This is mayonnaise. Okay. And maybe this is this is round round. <laughs> I think from the size of it, that's probably the relish. What does it relish? say on it? No. No. Oh, you see, it's circle. Oh, open that up, Gina. Let's see what that is. It's a circle. Cord. Is this the? Aquarium elastic. This is supposed to be the it's for aquarium. Yeah, the Just aeration the, the aeration hose that I ordered, but it doesn't look like an aeration hose to me. I thought I was ordering something similar to uh, what I have. This is just rubber hose. This isn't what they said it was at all. Yeah, it's just a rubber hose. <laughs> See, this is why I don't like ordering thing on things on Lazada. Aquarium elastic air. Well, that was 300 pesos wasted. Maybe you need what you mean is the black one you have there. It's that it's a soccer hose. Yeah, I know. I couldn't find any soaker hose. Um, you know, that's another thing with Lazada. You can't. I will find for you. You will find for me. All you right. Want, you want soaker hose? Well, the one, the black one. I know that they. I know that they sell that kind of. Look, I know that they sell. Uh, aeration line, because uh, Shirley's son has some. And it wasn't soaker hose, it was aeration line. And I thought that's what I was buying here. Uh, that's what the picture was anyway. But this is just, that's just plastic line. Yeah. It's not aeration line. And I, I'm, I, my thought is that the soaker hose is just way more expensive than the actual, mm. than the line would be if we could find the line. But I don't know if oh, we can or not. Yeah, and this, this jar of mayonnaise, which is, you know, actual, real, best foods mayonnaise, was, I don't know, like, I can't remember. What does it say on this? It's like 600 pesos, the shipping. 665, it's including... 665, yeah. yeah. including shipping. 
So that's $13. 13 US dollars for this jar of mayonnaise. And this is the 44 ounce. So like I say, you can get uh, imported stuff here, but you're definitely going to pay for it. And none of, the, none of the other mayonnaise I've ever found here tastes right. Even this Best Foods is not, I don't know, it, even this is not exactly right. Um, where's the... What do you call this one, Brian? What are you looking at? Aeration hose? Aeration what? Aeration hose, yeah. I was looking for a uh, a location of manufacture. The man, the the uh, best foods mayonnaise you buy here in the store is made in the Philippines, yeah. and uh, it doesn't taste right. This is actually made by Unilever in the U.S., so this is important. So this should uh, imported, so it should taste right. So, uh, Buchok's going to harvest the coconuts. We are getting five pesos each for them, which is twice as much as we were paying before. But, nonetheless, it's not worth it. It's not worth uh, the mess. You can see, look at the palm fronds all along the other side of that road. And, and they're, they're, all, they're all along the road. They're everywhere. And the, the, these trees just, they're messy and they're dangerous and uh, not worth what you get out of them. Not worth the risk. So down they come. So uh, we're, we're looking for a buyer to take care of it. And uh, that'll be that. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. <coughs> All right, well, Buchok hasn't finished up the count yet. I'm guessing a hundred or so. Yeah, maybe a hundred. Hundred, hundred plus. We've got to go to Ubai to try to find that net. And uh, we just can't stick around anymore. Even though he'll be done in a few minutes. What are you talking about, Charlie? Dun, dun, dun. Look at this. <laughs> well, look at you, buddy. You're, that's your that's your looking for chicks hat right there. So red, I saw you take that cup out of the van this morning. So was it was it laying right there? So anyway, I'm guessing about 500 pieces, and hopefully Tatai, hopefully Tatai can get a hold of that guy to take these trees down soon. Uh, you guys will will be informed. What are you guys talking about? Huh? Oh, he, he thinks 200 plus? No. Well, I don't know. Red. <coughs> Red's having a hard time being Have. Alright, thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.